on YouTube, Allison here, and I'm back here in Chris's fish room, as you can see, and I'm standing in front of the YouTube take that has his angelfish in there. But I have a story for you guys. Because see, Chris sugarcoats the angelfish that he previously had. We lived in an apartment and he had one fish tank and it had about six, eight, I don't know, angelfish and they were wild caught angelfish. Now, you hear the name angelfish, you would think you would get something like this. Cute little bitty fish. Okay. These wild caught angelfish terrified me. First of all, they were probably about the size of my hand, okay? They had these beady red eyes and they just swam back and forth in the tank looking at you. And what was scary was, is I know you're not supposed to do this, but you know how when you kind of tap on the tank, the fish jump? You know, because of the noise and the vibrations or whatever it is. These fish didn't do that. They didn't jump. They would literally swim towards you like, what? What you going to do? You want to go at it? And I'm like, wait a minute. These fish have issues, okay? So, at night, the fish tank was right outside of our bedroom. And at night... We would be laying in bed and you would hear this like sloshing of water around and I'm like, what the hell is going on? What are these fish doing? And you go out there and they'd stop and they would just be looking at you with these red beady eyes. And they'd be like, what? What you want? We're doing our thing. We're fighting. We're doing whatever. Okay. Tap on the tank. Try to scare them. Nope. They would like look back at me. I tap, they go, What? Want some of this? And I would just like, No, I'm leaving that tank alone. Every time Chris opened it up to feed them, they would like slosh the water around. I swear they were going to jump out of that tank and attack his face. They were so scary. So Chris decided to put an algae eater in the tank with the angelfish, okay? When I tell you, oh my gosh, the next morning we woke up, there was a dead algae eater floating on the top of the tank. Its eyeballs were missing, half of the tail and the fins were missing. And I'm like, what did these fish do to this poor algae eater that just wanted to eat the algae? I told Chris, my child is out here crawling around, walking around. Mm -mm. These fish got to go. Because they would be looking at my baby like, ooh, he's little. I can take him. Just let him get close enough to the tank. We'll jump out. We'll attack. I was like, no, Chris. These fish got to go. The name Angel deceived me. They were vicious, red, beady-eyed fish that, oh my gosh, they freaked me out. All I know is I was glad when I came home one day and they were gone. Don't care where they went. Don't care what happened to them. They were gone. They were scary. So, I took, told Chris, let me borrow his phone so I could tell you guys the truth about the angelfish that he had previously had. And so when he mentioned that he wanted angelfish, I was like, oh no. Mm -mm. But these little guys, I can handle. They don't have red beady eyes. They're actually kind of cute. Especially that little striped one right there. Should I tap on the tank to see if they jump? I won't do it. <laughs> Alright, bye YouTube.